this is a little trick about um, shooting with time code. And, uh, you know, whenever I get a chance, I shoot with time of day time code. And I'll tell you why. One simple reason, and that's logging. It's really simple to log because up here in the corner of your screen, you basically have uh, the time code that you're shooting with. Um, so much so that when I do shoot time of day, I actually ask the shooters to um, set their time code to my laptop clock. And let me tell you why. I take notes when I direct. And um, I can't afford an AD, so I, ta I take notes myself. And I actually enter in the hours, minutes, and seconds based on the time of day up here. But you might be thinking, well, that seems like a lot of work to type that in, you know, 18 colon, 25 colon, you know, whatever. But what I've done is I've created a little shortcut, and I just type the semicolon twice, and it takes the time of day, and it pastes it into that cell. Now, the way I do that is I use a utility up here called Text Expander, and I can't recommend this more. I don't even know what it costs, but, you know, I would pay for it. I <laughs> I did pay for it for this one use alone. And let me show you how to set this up because it's not intuitively obvious how to um, get that to work. So if I open up the text expander preferences, it opens up the uh, the preference pane here in the system preferences. And you can see here's here's a bunch of uh, um, what they call snippets. And it's basically just a macro generator. And this is the um, snippet, if you will, that takes the hours, minutes, and seconds and it pastes and it takes that off the system clock and it pastes it in wherever I type this keystroke which is semicolon semicolon so let's rebuild this from scratch so you can see how it's done I'm gonna delete it and I'm gonna say I want a new snippet and that new snippet is a series of um, commands that it gets from the system so the first thing I want to do is I want to click on this little plus guy here come down to time come down to hour and I want to do 0 through 23 so basically I want to do military time so by doing that I get the military time I then want to put a colon in between and basically whatever is in this box here will get pasted in whenever I do the keyboard shortcut so then after I do hours I want to do time minutes and I want preceding zeros and then I want to do another colon and then I want to do time and seconds with also with preceding zeros and the abbreviation which is of course case sensitive is semicolon semicolon and there is my snippet all built so if I close this window come back to my shot log here and type semicolon semicolon boom I get the hours minutes and seconds now this is really handy because if I go ahead and set my 5d my Canon 5d or 7d to the same time, this is basically the time code that the new Canon EOS plugin is going to generate when it makes the um, when it imports that clip. So everything's based off my system clock. I have hours, minutes, and seconds here. The hours and minutes and seconds here that come from my macro, which is coming from Text Expander, and then that hours, minutes, and seconds also gets uh, related when. Um, when I do the uh, import into um, Final Cut Pro. Now, Text Expander can be used for other things too, and I want to give you a quick example of that. Um, let's say at the end of every shoot, I want to generate a report for post production and tell them what camera, camera I was using, the resolution we shot at, uh, frame rate, etc., etc., what they should be expecting. So let's say I want to take this code, I want to copy it, and I want to come back to Text Expander, and I want to make a new snippet. And my new snippet content is going to be this plain text that I just copied out of the uh, thing. And one of the things I like to do, I like to use double characters. So if I type, uh, let's say this is my report for the end of the day, so R-R-E-P-O-R-T, because that's not a word I'm commonly going to type, because Text Expander works in every um, application. So if I close my uh, Text Expander preferences and then type R R. E P O R T, boom. It has my, you know, we shot this type of camera today, our resolution was Y and our frame rate was Z, and then I can just go and replace those. So that is Text Expander uh, creating, pasting time of day off of the system clock uh, in any application you need to use it for. 
So that's my way of logging um, shots as I'm working.